Hello everyone, uh, we're here uh, for the Hollywood Hair Series. This week is going to be focused on Jean Tierney's style. And I'm gonna grab that real quick. So this is what we are looking at. Just a very simple style. You can see there's not a lot to the set and I'm going to do a quick modification in this particular styling to show how you can do it at home with a curling iron very simply without having to fight through uh, pin curls. Um, I'm just going to read what we're doing here and the uh, description of her hair. So starting, uh, soft waves in a side parted medium long bob make a flattering frame from Jean Tierney's square shaped face. Her hair is thick, slightly wavy, and of a fine texture. How Jean's hair is cut. The hair is parted on the left with the top lock of hair on the thick or right side cut three inches long. The hair is tapered down the side to slightly below the jawline on this side. On the part or left side and in back, the hair is taper cut to the same slightly below jawline length. Uh, how Jean's hair is set. This thick side of the hair is set in a double row of three stand-up curls. They are large, loose, and rolled under so that they comb out into half waves. The part is side set. Excuse me. The part side is set with a single large, loose pin curl just below the part, then with a double row of two stand-up curls rolled under across the back, go two rows of pin curls. Oh, I missed a period. Excuse me. Two stand-up curls rolled under. Across the back go two rows of pin curls, and that's where I'm going to modify. So one, uh, my doll head has hair that is definitely longer than this, uh, but I'm going to show how you can use this set with the modification that I will point out uh, with a curling iron to create a modern wavy style. Uh, best on folks who don't have... Uh, bangs or um, any kind of a fringe section. Um, as you can see, there's literally, so we have, I'm going to bring it up close, three stand-up curls, two stand-up curls with a pin curl. And then if you look at this top piece, we have the entire top is not set in curls. It's actually a very long route to um, encourage the direction of the curls and then obviously the uh, two rows of pin curls in the back that will be modified for this doll head. Just to show you what we're working with, I'm going to move, move on down to focus, focus on the doll. Pretty face. Um, just to show you, as you can see, the hair is definitely longer than chin length, but this is an easily modified uh, style for any person who, I would say, if your hair is cut to your chin abouts and longer, this is easily uh, interpreted for that kind of hair. Also, I have chosen to stick with the left side part, as is... Uh, suggested in the instructions. Uh, however, you can uh, adjust the part to the other side if that's what you want to do. So I'm going to start with the left side, which is going to be um, a little a little simpler. Uh, there's not a lot to it. It's two stand-up curls plus one uh, pin curl. And what we're going to do here is prep the section using uh, the style link heat buffer so that you can uh, protect your hair from the ravages of a curling iron. If you were going to do this as a roller set, whether uh, foam rollers or uh, hard rollers under a dryer, you would just um, follow the pattern and use rollers instead of um, the curling iron. So in this case for this particular set, to translate it into a wet set, pretend that the curling iron barrel is rollers. And we're just going to take this front section here, already sprayed and prepped with the heat protectant. And the biggest part is to ensure that you have I'm going to burn out every bit of color in her hair, I have a feeling. Even with 
Even with heat protectant, she's been through quite a bit. So I have a feeling she's going to be a little less colorful than she once was. And since this is supposed to be a pin curl rolled forward, we're going to take it and roll it up in a forward fashion and just use a single prong clip and pin it. It doesn't have to be super duper fancy, just, just done. And this side is going to be easily completed in two stand-up curls. So to avoid having a split, I am going to be doing a zigzag type parting between two rolls. I'm going to move this out of the way and you can see the parting here. I recommend doing the zigzag parting every time you uh, choose to uh, do stand-up curls, whether with rollers or with a curling iron. It's really the nicest way to ensure that you get less of a um, less of a, um, a split line between your rolls. All right, I'll well, do my best to not totally torch the hair, but I can't say that I won't. I'm trying, though. Uh, and I'm running this all the way down to the end, and then rolling up. And I'm going to hold it here just until I can feel the heat coming through. Take it off. The idea is that this is going to make a soft wave, a uh, not uh, specific to a strong curl. We're just looking for waves, and I just put two pins in to hold the uh, excuse me to hold that curl in place. And now I'm going to take my next curl, which is going to sit just right on top of this first curl. So I'm not I'm not intending to make a strong on base curl. I'm looking more for a softer slightly off base curl. And we remember that uh, the base is the hair where it is attached to the head. I'm doing this to put some heat throughout the hair and then rolling up until I can feel the heat transfer through anywhere between 5 to 12 seconds just depending on what the hair is doing and then using my fingernail and kind of wiggling it off the curl, I mean wiggling the curl off of the curling iron and just adjusting so you have it where you want it and a pin on either end and I'm kind of letting, um, I'm kind of creating a little bit of a dent here, not, not a strong one, but I want it to have a very particular flow to it. So I, I feel like having this little dent here is okay. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the doll head around. And now this is where things get a little interesting because her hair will only have, uh, they wanted uh, three rows of stand-up curls. Uh, and as I'm using the curling iron, it's going to be three sections of stand-up curls. Uh, also, pre-spray, so we can protect the hair from as much of the heat as we can. Isn't she pretty? Look at all that hair. Uh, so what I, what my plan is, instead of, um, is, is to build up, uh, like we did on the left side, is to build up and create a 
pattern. So using the zigzag parting to avoid having her, you know, with too strong of a, of a dividing line between everything. I'm going to start by placing this curl in. So coming in and kind of letting it heat up the hair a little bit. Because what's, what's really going to encourage the hair to mold is to heat. And then what encourages it to stay is to cool. Cool and dry. Cool and dry hair is going to hold the best. So put one. Curl in here. This is probably going to turn out to be the simplest of the of the updos. I love that. If, it, if this is if this counts as self care, I'm in. I'm in. It's self care for me. Taking care of myself, helping people learn how to do what they want to do. So to uh, accommodate this second curl section. I'm going to go about about to the temple, maybe about an inch wide. Uh, the last one is going to be the um, the trickiest because of the amount of hair that will be in that section. But for now, just this nice little subsection. Uh, and we're going to treat it like we did the... Pardon me, that just went all over the place. My apologies! Uh, we're going to treat it like uh, we did it on the left side, which is to roll it slightly, slightly off base, uh, and let it sit on its neighbor here. So, just letting the iron come in, heat up the hair a little bit before we commence the rolling of the curl. And this is what, uh, the pattern would be if you were putting your hair in rollers would be to roll one curl, two curls, and then we'll do the third one in just a moment once this has heated up thoroughly enough. And come in. Just adjust the curl so it's sitting on the neighbor and adjust it in the back. Oh, missed the inside. There. Now I know that that will mostly stay where I want it. Wow, it is losing its mind. Hold on. Is that better? Apologies for the focus. I didn't realize it was being so weird about it. Okay, so here comes uh, this section is definitely I'm going to use a brush first, because this is a really, really, really big subsection. But to get the look and style that Jean Tierney wore, you don't want to have any uh, volume curls on the top of the head. So I'm going to see if I can do this without blocking everybody's point of view. And it's a lot of hair. A lot of hair, so. Yep, grab the curl too. That's fun. It's okay. See? Oh, I see what happened. Ah, I didn't grab all of it. Stay there. Everybody, stay. I gotta brush this out again. Get it ready. Try my best to not block the view or. Thing. So, I'm going to come in down to the base and begin the process of trying to heat the hair. Uh, this 
doll head has been previously set, so she kind of has some curl going anyways. Now, just hanging out, hanging out, trying to feel the heat all the way through, doing my best also to not put my finger directly on the barrel of the curling iron. I don't need to do that. That's not fun. steal another pin for this curl down here because I want it to stay oh, I just oh Let's give me the troubles give me the troubles sometimes extra pins are the answer I don't like what that's doing there that would be better so now just setting this in here in some ways it's kind of like a uh, what might be termed the suicide roll um, in, uh, in the vintage hair kind of parlance. Um, so, as you can see, we have the one pin curl, two rolled down, and then three rolled down here. So, she'll probably still have some volume because of the previous set she had in her hair, but the idea is to create a soft wave down the side of the face. So now comes what I'm calling the cheater part, uh, the modification to make this easier for anyone working at home, is to, first we're going to find the part, because that kind of determines how we're going to go at, about the back, and we're just going to part down from the part, sort of aiming to the middle, but not, it doesn't have to be perfect. But this way, you have a very simple subsection to work on. And uh, spray down with the heat protectant. Always want to save the hair. And I just want to remind what we, the original plan uh, of this hairstyle is to have two rows of uh, pin curls facing forward from the center. Now, to make this simpler and something you might be able to do a little easier at home, I want to show a slightly different technique rather than pin curls. Like I said, she's been set previously, so her hair's already fairly wavy, and that's okay. I'm going to I'm trying to figure out where I want to stand. I think I'm gonna come around the other side. Okay. So what we're going to do, oh no, I'm sneeze, maybe, maybe not, I hate when that happens, we're going to just take a, and, and knowing especially if you're working by yourself at home, there's no, it's, it's easy enough to just kind of grab and part. So to mimic those pin curls, we're actually going to be doing another uh, full barrel curling iron curl instead of making pin curls. So just slide in. We're going to be aiming toward the face for this particular style. And roll it all the way up to as close to your head as you can handle it. I know that it's not always the most Comfortable to have a curling iron stuck right next to your ear or your neck or your forehead for that matter. This will be fun. I don't want to drop the curl. Basically, we've just done a stand up barrel curl, but on a more diagonal level. So this could easily modify into a page boy uh, style. If you were thinking a little more 1940s, uh, this is still 
because it's the 50s, it really is all about uh, casual styling. And this makes the process somewhat simpler for one to do on their own. And I feel I could do this to my hair if I just put the put a little, little effort into it. But I like showing on the doll head because I know that I can check and see where the camera's aiming. So once more, this second curl is getting as close to the head as you can tolerate. I'm just feeling through to check the heat. Working to not burn my fingers off. I'm using my fingernails to remove the curl from the curling iron. And just setting it so that it is in a slight diagonal, a little more uh, towards the vertical than, than the, the horizontal. And this will be the basis for uh, what would have been the pin curls in the back, but now is the creation of the waves. And I might also choose to do just to encourage a little a little separation between is to go ahead and just kind of pin at the top of the curl. Then we're going to do the exact same thing on this other side, although we will have probably at least one more curl because of the off-center part. And once more, of course, uh, pre-treating with the heat buffer. So we can save as much of the hair as possible. And I'm using my brush again because she's got a lot of hair. That sounds terrible. Sounds like I'm ripping it all out. And... Your little wave from a previous set. So she kind of has it. She kind of had a head start here. And then we're just gonna take a small subsection. I'm gonna clip the rest of the hair out of the way. Take this small subsection. Come through here and curl once more. We're gonna be curling forward toward the face, depending on how uh, ambidextrous you are will determine how you're going to hold the curling iron in relation to creating the curls. And like I said, we're going to get as close to the, the skin as we can. Rolling up here. We didn't see anything. Okay, there's the end of the curling iron. There's me doing my thing. Heating it up. There we go. Okay. And positioning the curl in a vertical diagonal orientation. And just like the curls in the front, we're pinning uh, top and bottom, or at both ends of the curl. And then I'm going to just tuck this little guy in there to help encourage that. In some ways, I guess it's, it's very reminiscent of the Page Boy from the 1940s as there's no evidence in the uh, in the instructions that would say that there is any kind of uh, curl or wave uh, at the crown, I'm going on the assumption that we are sticking with a, um, you know, a, a basically a flat crown. And I, I kind of like a flat crown. It makes a uh, I mean, obviously, if you were somebody who wore a hat, it would make wearing a hat much simpler without screwing up your hair. But also, uh, it's a lot easier to uh, style up is to uh, use the, um, to only have to worry about hair uh, towards the nape of the neck versus hair uh, all the way up at the crown, or trying to hold your hands in such a way as to be able to curl it uh, properly. It's quite a, quite a
quite a chore once you start getting away from the uh, lower parts to to do on yourself. It's it can be really uh, a little stressful, a little a little complicated. And then I think I'm going to split this in two just for ease of handling. Uh, depending on how much hair you have for yourself will determine uh, how much your um, each subsection may or may not have. Uh, you may only end up with four subsections. You may end up with, uh, uh, you know, six or seven, just all dependent upon your hair, hair type, uh, space on your head. That's the thing that I don't think a lot of people think of, but not everybody has the same uh, area on their hair or on their head. So while one person might get five or, or six curls across the across the back of their head somebody else might only be able to fit three uh, depending on how wide their uh like say side to side and the back is 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 that there's a a tendency towards i guess it's really like not getting caught up in the fact that oh i didn't have enough hair to make I didn't have enough hair to make five curls across the back of my head, or I didn't have enough space, and now that means that the style is wrong. And it, and it really doesn't mean that. I know that's a, an easy thing to think is, like, oh, if I if I don't do the exact amount of curls that they tell me in the in the demonstration, then I'm doing it wrong, and I probably shouldn't even do it anyways. And really what it comes down to is just, what is the space on your head like? And that can be your head or someone else's head. I mean, if you're doing this kind of styling on somebody else, maybe maybe they only fit four curls across the, the back of their head. Or maybe they can only, you know, maybe you want to change it up a little bit and you only want to do, you know, depending on the length of the hair, maybe you only want to do uh, two that are, instead of being a vertical diagonal, oriented or are too uh, horizontal uh, type curls where they would just be rolled under down towards the towards the neck rather than rolled forward toward the face and remembering that we did an off-center part here for the sake of the off-center parting of the front hair so we've made it this is the last curl to place and cool. I will uh, spritz her hair with um, some hairspray uh, while it is finishing setting. Um, I'm not worried about showing that uh, too much. But this makes that back section much simpler, especially if you're trying to do it on your own. So it's rolled forward, 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 and on this side also roll forward, roll forward. Uh, very simple, that way you don't have to sit here and fight through all this hair to make two rows of pin curls, uh, especially for the sake of it being a wave-centric style and not a curl-centric style. It's a yeah, pretty simple. Let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve curls, uh, twelve passes with the curling iron. Relatively simple, I would say. Also relatively uh, modestly quick to do. And next week, we'll see how it comes out in comparison to what we were modeled in the, excuse me, what we were modeled on the worksheet in the, in the book. And uh, we'll do the comb out and show you how to uh, put on the little, little style to it without getting too rigid in the style. This is still in the category of 
let it let it kind of do as it as it wants to do and we'll catch you next week sunday at two and i look forward to seeing you there bye